Good evening, everyone, to those of you watching and to those of you watching a recording of this. My name is Marisa Gayagan. I'm the Associate Director of Communications around Rec IAC. Tonight is our first of two hearing boundary hearings for the reserve, an undeveloped and new neighborhood located off of 620 in Wyoming Springs. And in a moment, we'll have Terry Wooster, our Chief Operations Officer, tell us a little bit more about the, the existing boundaries and the proposed boundaries that Board of Trustees will be considering. Um, so with that brick introduction, Terry, would you like to begin the presentation? I'll go ahead and bring it up for you. Thank you, Maritza. And uh, thank you very much for having me tonight. We are just going to go through a very brief per presentation. And okay. as, as that comes up, I'm bringing up the presentation right now. And you're there we go. Ahead. All right. As Maritza had mentioned, the, the uh, focus of this boundary hearing is for a brand new neighborhood. This neighborhood will be approximately 75 uh, homes. And so we can anticipate, uh, oh, we're, we're at the maximum, perhaps uh, 50 new students in this neighborhood and, or perhaps less, I'm not unsure, because this neighborhood does not have housing uh, under construction yet. It is only the infrastructure that has been accomplished at this point in time. And so you'll see that the, the brown area in this, in this graphic shows the Brushy Creek attendance zone. And uh, the area that we're talking about is in the far right side in the corner adjacent to the, the, uh, the yellow, which is uh, the Firm Bluff attendance zone, Firm Bluff Elementary School. And so we are proposing that that very far right hand corner that you'll see adjacent to Wyoming Springs Road be rezoned to Fern Bluff uh, for the safety of the students and, and the ability to, to reasonably access an elementary school and other schools such as Chisholm Trail Middle School and Round Rock High School, which are just down the street east to uh, towards uh, Deepwood Street. And so going to the next graphic, if we could, the next slide, you'll see that change. Well, we may toggle back and forth, it's very subtle in that uh, the new change is just a, a small revision, just outlining the Wyoming Springs uh, neighborhood directly. And so Jennifer, if we can toggle back and forth, th this is the new graphic that we're proposing. And if you can go back one slide to be able to see that, you can see that change. And then let's go back to the new, the new graphic. So a very subtle change for a very small area. And so consequently, uh, it is designed and intended for convenience for those who may begin to take residence in that neighborhood. So that's all I have, Maritza, so I'll pass that back to you. Thank you, Terry. This is normally the part where we take public comments. We did not have anyone sign up today. Um, so with that, that, that closes this boundary hearing. This is the first of two, so we'll have another one tomorrow at 6 p.m. Um, if community members are interested in providing a public comment, we are accepting uh, submissions or a, a request to, to provide a public comment until noon tomorrow. And you can find that information on roundrockisd.org. So again, tomorrow is our second hearing at 6 p.m. So with that, that concludes our evening. So thank you, Terry, and everyone who tuned in and who is watching this. I hope everyone stays warm and has a good rest of the night. Alrighty, thank you guys.